All right, so today I'm going to not only review for loops and while loops, which are very important fundamentals to, to programming in general, not just Java, but I'm also gonna go over how to download and install Java on your computer, the Java Development Kit, JDK, and how to install NetBeans on your computers as well. All right, so that's what we will use throughout the entire semester for all of our programs after we get out of this review phase. While we're doing this review phase, you can still use the Java Visualizer, but after that, once we start working on our actual programs, we're gonna need something more robust and, and more fully featured than the Visualizer. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is download the Java JDK. And I just typed in Google Java JDK. It's, uh, the one we're gonna download is from Oracle. All right, scroll down. I'm on a Windows computer, click Windows. Now I'm gonna do the 64-bit installer, all right? Download and save that. Once that's downloaded, and we're just gonna install it. And now installing the NetBeans is going to take a little while, depending on your internet connection, because NetBeans is so large. But we'll cross that bridge once we get there. So just next, next, if you want to change the installation location, obviously you can. We want to install this. And this, again, is on a Windows computer. If you have a Mac or Linux, it's slightly different, but not much different. Linux is actually a lot easier. If you're good with the command line, it's only a couple commands and you're done. So while that's installing, well, it's almost done now. All right. And we need this prior to installing NetBeans. We need the Java JDK before we install NetBeans. All right. While that's installing, I'm going to download NetBeans. So again, I just Googled Apache NetBeans. Click here, download. And then again, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click on the Windows X64 EXE. And then hopefully it downloads soon. Click on this site, save. And you see it's 413 megabytes. It's actually fairly large. So depending on your internet connection, it could take some time. All right, so it looks like Java has finished installing now. So I can just hit close. NetBeans is just about done downloading. I'm going to click that, run that. And again, this will be uploaded to the YouTube channel. So if you need to go back and look at these steps again, by all means. All right, so NetBeans is installing. Again, NetBeans is a, has a lot more features than the Java Visualizer, which is what I used in Programming 1. And let's see, Base IDE, Java SC, Java EE, HTML5, PHP. Yep, everything looks good here. We can just hit Next. I accept. Next. If you want to change the location, by all means, you're free to. But you see, it automatically finds our Java JDK for us. That's why I installed JDK and we're on version 17 now. So that's why I installed it. It automatically found it for us. So I don't have to worry about that. That's why it was so critical to install the JDK before NetBeans. Hit next. Um, check for updates on, on startup. That's fine with me. And install. All right, so NetBeans, again, it gives us the ability to create classes and organize all of our, our code into a project. And we can take that whole project and zip it up into a, a, a zip file and upload it for your assignments. And again, that's what I'll use to grade is that full project. And that actually goes into part of your grade if you packaged it correctly. If you go to the Moodle page, you'll see that I have how to submit your assignments. So basically how to zip up your project and submit it. Okay. Any, any uh, questions so far?
No. No, nah, just trying to download and install all this stuff, sir. Okay. All right, so I've finished downloading and installing NetBeans. I can close these windows. And now I have a desktop uh, icon. I'm just going to Apache NetBeans IDE. I had a previous version of NetBeans installed on my computer, so I'm just going to hit yes to import those old settings. And here we go. Now we're in NetBeans. This is what we'll use to do all of our programs going forward. And you'll see me do the same steps over and over again as we're building our projects. The first thing we need to do is create a project, all right? <clears throat> There's two ways of doing that. I can go file, new project. You see it's this little orange icon with the green plus. Or I can just click this icon right here. It's the same thing, new project. I'm gonna do Java with Maven. We don't have to worry too much about what Maven is in this class, but as you advance in your programming, particularly with Java, Maven is really good if you have different libraries that you wanna include in your code. And libraries are just other people's projects, if you will. So Java with Maven, Java application, hit next. Let's see. In order to use this functionality, support for Java SE must be activated. So I'm gonna download and activate. I accept the terms, install. Finish. And while that's activating, All right, so now here is my project, okay? So my project name, I'm gonna name this review, what are we on, review three, I believe. The group ID, it doesn't matter what you put here, but when you work in a organization, they'll have different group IDs. And typically it's their domain and then the team that you work in. So for our example, we work in edu.shawu.cs. Right. So if, if there was a domain cs.shawu.edu, that would be our domain. I'm going to do version 1.0. This stuff is not really important. However, um, as you progress in your careers, you may encounter these more often. Hit finish. And what it's doing now is creating our project, basically an organizing structure for us to do our code and to put our code in. And you see over here to the left, we have our full project structure now. Source packages is where we'll put our code. Dependencies are basically what uh, libraries that we've imported that our project depends on. Java dependencies, that's, we depend on Java JDK 17. So all of the code inside JDK 17, you can actually look at this code if you want, you can go through it, but I believe it's already compiled. So you may not be able to see or understand what's going on. All right, so now we have our first project, okay? Our first NetBeans project. Again, we'll use NetBeans to do all of our code going forward. So to create our first Java class, we wanna write, we wanna click on our source packages and then this package right here, edu.shaw.u.cs.review3, okay? I'm gonna right click, new, and for this example, I want a main class. So I'm going to click Java main class. We will be creating both main classes and just standard classes in the future. But for right now, I'm doing a main class. And I'm going to just call this app. It doesn't matter what you call this. Of course, going forward, you know, the naming that you use is important, right? Because you want to understand what this class is doing by a quick snapshot of the name. For my purposes, app is good enough. That's the starting point. Some programs you'll see it says init, right? initialization, or something else, CMD. It doesn't matter. It's unique to the program. So from here, we can put all our code in. 
We have our main method, we have our public class. And you notice it's in the edu.shaw.cs.review3 package, right? And it corresponds to the package that is in over here. Package, package. So now that we have this project, it is important that you're in the right, your class, whatever package that you state inside your class corresponds to the actual packages it's in. Essentially in Java, packages are like folders, if you will. It helps you organize your code. So this is my review three package. I could have a um, animal package and that's where I put all my animal classes. And we'll talk about that later on, all right? So let's jump into our review. Any questions about downloading, installing JDK or NetBeans and how to start a, a project? <clears throat> 